Is the U.S. economy as robust as we believe it to be? A question that's been echoing in the minds of many lately as we navigate these choppy economic waters. Let's start with a hard truth. Consumer confidence in the U.S. economy is on the decline, hitting a low that we haven't seen in years. Why? The rising cost of living is a significant factor. Everyday essentials like food, electricity, and household goods are becoming more expensive, putting a strain on American households. And it's not an evenly spread strain either. There are stark regional disparities when it comes to inflation rates. The South and West are feeling the heat with the highest increases, while folks in the mountain region are grappling with an additional $1,000 in yearly household costs. This rising cost of living is triggering a sense of financial insecurity. A staggering 49% of Americans see it as the biggest threat they face. This insecurity is further exacerbated by a consumer debt that has reached a record $15.84 trillion. It's not just everyday items that are getting pricier. The housing market is also feeling the pinch, with median home prices skyrocketing by 30% in just two years. The dream of home ownership is becoming increasingly elusive, adding to the affordability crisis. The financial squeeze is so intense that a significant portion of the population is living paycheck to paycheck. Middle-income families in particular feel their income isn't keeping up with the rising costs leading to widespread financial stress. And it's not just the older generations that are worried. The younger ones, especially Generation Z and Millennials, have little faith in the economy. They fear the long-term effects of an economic downturn and what it means for their future. Financial experts are painting a rather bleak picture too. They predict a continued economic decline with growth expected to slow down considerably towards the end of the year. Are we heading towards a recession? Only time will tell. What's clear though is that the consensus among economists and financial analysts is that the US economy is on a long-term decline, worsened by decades of fiscal mismanagement, and there are no easy solutions in sight. This is just the tip of the iceberg, let's delve deeper into what's going wrong. Inflation isn't just a word, it's a reality affecting millions. And this reality is hitting hard in the United States, where the cost of just about everything, from bread to electricity, is on the rise. That's right, folks, the price tags on essential goods are growing faster than Jack's Beanstalk. And this isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a significant financial pressure cooker for American households who are finding their budget stretched thin. This isn't a uniform problem, though. It's like a patchwork quilt of financial strain, with some regions feeling the heat more than others. The South and the West are being hit hardest, with inflation rates soaring high. And let's not forget about our neighbors in the mountain region who are facing over $1,000 in added yearly household costs. That's not just chump change, it's a significant chunk of hard-earned income. But what does this mean for the average American? Well, imagine if your paycheck stayed the same, but everything you needed to buy got more expensive. It's like running a race where the finish line keeps moving further away. That's the reality for many households, as they grapple with the rising cost of living. And the impact isn't just felt in the wallet, it's also affecting perceptions. The fear of not being able to afford basic necessities is causing a significant dip in consumer confidence. People are worried, and with good reason. It's a vicious cycle where fear feeds inflation and inflation feeds fear. But here's the kicker, this isn't just a blip on the radar, with the cost of living identified as the major threat by nearly half of Americans, it's clear that this is a deep-rooted issue. It's a sign of an economy under pressure, a sign that something needs to change. But that's not all. There's more to the story than just inflation. Stay tuned, because we're just getting started on this journey through the complex landscape of the U.S. economy. How secure do you feel financially? It's a question that seems to be haunting an increasing number of Americans. The cost of living, once a mundane aspect of daily life, has now emerged as a major threat, causing sleepless nights for nearly half the population. Yes, you heard it right. 49% of Americans are now viewing the rising cost of living as their biggest adversary. And what's adding fuel to this fire of financial insecurity? A mountain of consumer debt that has reached a record high. Picture this, the total consumer debt in the United States is now over $15.84 trillion. That's a staggering number, isn't it? It's like a gigantic cloud of debt looming over the nation, casting a shadow of financial insecurity that seems to grow darker by the day. Every dollar borrowed is a promise to pay back in the future. 
but with the cost of living skyrocketing, that future seems increasingly uncertain. It's like being stuck in a vicious cycle of borrow, spend, and owe with no clear escape route in sight. And it's not just about numbers on a spreadsheet. This financial insecurity seeps into every aspect of life. It means less money for education, healthcare, and retirement savings. It means more stress, more anxiety, and less freedom to make choices that could improve one's quality of life. It's a grim picture indeed, but it's important to remember that numbers, while daunting, are not destiny. They are a wake-up call, a reminder that it's time to take action. It's time to address the root causes of this financial insecurity and work towards solutions that can provide relief to millions of Americans. So, let's roll up our sleeves, dive into the complexity of this issue, and start the conversation about how we can turn things around. After all, financial security is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's the foundation upon which we build our dreams, our hopes, and our future. The numbers are staggering, aren't they? But let's not forget, numbers are just numbers. It's what we do in response to them that truly matters. Housing, a basic need, now a luxury. This sentiment echoes the reality of many Americans as they grapple with the ongoing housing market crisis. Over the past two years, there's been a startling increase in the median home price, jumping a staggering 30%. This surge has had a profound impact on the affordability of housing, pushing it out of reach for countless families. What was once seen as a stepping stone to the American dream, homeownership has now become a symbol of an increasingly elusive economic stability. This dramatic escalation in housing prices isn't just a reflection of a booming real estate market. Instead, it's a symptom of a deeper economic malaise that's been brewing for years, a concoction of low interest rates, limited housing supply, and a population desperate to secure a slice of stability in uncertain times. This affordability crisis isn't just about numbers on a page. It's about the human cost, the families forced to move because they can no longer afford their homes, it's about the young adults unable to move out of their parents' homes, the retirees struggling to keep a roof over their heads. It's about the widening wealth gap, as homeownership, a traditional means of building wealth, slips further out of reach for many. This housing market crisis isn't just a financial issue, it's a social issue. It's a crisis that's shaking the very foundations of the American dream, redefining what it means to achieve financial stability and success. It's a crisis that's forcing us to question the sustainability of our economic model, to ask whether it's serving the many or just the few. As we navigate this housing market crisis, it's crucial to remember that it's not an isolated incident. It's a piece of a larger economic puzzle interwoven with issues of financial insecurity, wage stagnation, and rising costs of living. It's a crisis that demands our attention, our understanding, and ultimately, our action. Now, let's take a look at the impact of all these issues on American households. Are you living paycheck to paycheck? You're not alone. In the vast landscape of the American economy, a significant portion of the population finds themselves living paycheck to paycheck, a cycle that's becoming increasingly common. We're talking about hardworking individuals, families, single parents, young professionals, all navigating the choppy waters of financial uncertainty trying to make ends meet middle-income families, those who are often considered the backbone of our society, are feeling the pinch more than ever. Despite putting in the hours, their income just doesn't seem to keep pace with the escalating costs of living. The rent, the bills, the groceries, the unexpected expenses, it all adds up, leaving little to no room for savings or even simple pleasures. Imagine a boat in the middle of a stormy sea, constantly bailing out water just to stay afloat. That's the reality for many. They're not sinking, but they're certainly not moving forward. They're stuck in a cycle of financial stress, a loop that seems to be tightening rather than loosening. And it's not just about the lack of money. The emotional toll this takes is immense. The constant worry, the sleepless nights, the stress, it all has a profound impact on mental health, personal relationships, and overall quality of life. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, every unexpected expense becomes a potential crisis. Every financial decision, a high stakes gamble. This isn't just about numbers on a spreadsheet, it's about real people, with real lives, who are facing real challenges. And while it's easy to get lost in the statistics, it's important to remember that behind every percentage point, there's a human story, a struggle, a dream deferred. So, as we delve deeper into the state of the U.S. economy, it's crucial to keep these stories in mind, because at the end of the day, it's not just about economic indicators or financial forecasts. 
It's about people, their lives, their hopes, their dreams. What does all this mean for future generations? What does the future hold for Generation Z and Millennials? This question looms large as we delve into the fears and uncertainties plaguing these younger generations in the United States. At the heart of their concerns is an economy they perceive as unstable and unpredictable. The financial landscape they've inherited is one of rising living costs, stagnant wages, and a job market that's increasingly competitive and precarious. Generation Z and Millennials are coming of age in a world where the cost of education has skyrocketed, saddling them with student loans that can take decades to repay. They're entering a workforce where job security is more myth than reality, and the gig economy, often devoid of benefits or stability, has become a necessary evil for many. Their financial future is further clouded by the escalating cost of housing. Home ownership, a cornerstone of the American dream, seems increasingly out of reach, with many resigning themselves to a lifetime of renting. This generation is also the first to grow up with the specter of climate change and the economic disruptions it promises. The potential costs of transitioning to a green economy, coupled with the financial fallout from more frequent and severe weather events, are a source of significant anxiety. The emergence of cryptocurrencies and the shift towards a digital economy add another layer of complexity and uncertainty. While some see these developments as opportunities, others view them as yet another financial hurdle to navigate. The mounting pressure has led to a growing sense of economic disillusionment among these younger generations. Their faith in the economy and their ability to achieve financial stability within it is waning. It's a sobering reality that underscores the urgent need for economic reforms that address these valid concerns. As we look to the future, it's clear that the economic well-being of Generation Z and Millennials will have far-reaching implications for the health and stability of the U.S. economy as a whole. The outlook isn't promising, is it? What do the experts say about our economic future? As we grapple with the economic realities of today, this question becomes more pressing. Financial experts, those who study and interpret the complex dance of numbers and trends, have their predictions. And unfortunately, they're not exactly painting a rosy picture. Predictions suggest a continued economic decline. This doesn't mean a sudden collapse or a dramatic crash, but rather a slow, consistent downturn. Growth is expected to slow down considerably towards the end of the year. This gradual decline might not sound like much, but its effects can ripple outwards, gradually impacting every aspect of our lives. The word recession is being whispered in financial circles, hinting at the possibility of a significant slowdown in economic activity. It's a chilling word, one that conjures images of job losses, of families struggling to make ends meet, of businesses closing their doors. But it's important to remember that a recession is not a certainty. It's a possibility, a shadow on the horizon, and like all shadows, it can be dispelled if the right steps are taken. The truth is, our economy is like a ship on a turbulent sea. It can weather the storm, but it needs a skilled crew and a clear course. It needs sound fiscal policies, sustainable practices, and a commitment to addressing the issues that have led to the current situation. But what does all this mean for the average American? It means uncertainty, yes, but it also means that we're in a pivotal moment, a moment where decisions made today will shape the economic landscape of tomorrow. It's a moment of potential change, and with change comes the opportunity to create a more sustainable, equitable economy. So what's the consensus about the state of the U.S. economy? Well, the consensus is clear. We're facing challenges, long-term ones that have been decades in the making. There are no easy solutions, no magic bullets. But there's also a sense of resolve, a belief that we can navigate through these economic storms. After all, the U.S. economy has weathered tough times before, and with the right strategies and a bit of grit, it can do so again. Are we in for a long-term economic decline? This is the question on the minds of economists and financial analysts as they observe the current state of the U.S. economy. The consensus is far from comforting. It suggests that America is indeed on a downward economic trajectory, and this isn't a mere blip or a temporary downturn. Instead, it's a long-term decline that's been in the making for decades, exacerbated by fiscal mismanagement and short-sighted policies. These experts argue that the issues we're seeing now, the inflation, the housing crisis, the financial insecurity, aren't isolated problems. Rather, they're symptoms of a deeper, more systemic issue that needs to be addressed. 
The picture painted by the data and the expert opinions is clear. The U.S. economy is facing some serious challenges. So, buckle up, folks. In conclusion, the U.S. economy is facing a multitude of challenges, and it seems we're in for a bumpy ride.